written January 17, 18 in the Chiosk at Para, overlooking Constantinople Give me great God, said I, a little farm in summer shady, and in winter warm where a cool spring gives birth to a clear brook be nature sliding down a mossy rock not artfully in leaden pipes conveyed or greatly falling in a forked cascade pure and unsullied winding through ye shade all bounteous heaven has added to my prayer a softer climate and a purer air our frozen isle now chilling wind turbines deformed by rains and rough wth blasting winds e withered woods grown white wth hoary frost be driving storms their scattered beauties lost the trembling birds their leaveless covers shun and seek in distant climes a warmer sun the water nymphs their silence turns deplore even tempts benumbed a river now no more the barren meadows give no more delight be glistening snows made painful to ye sight here summer rains wth one eternal smile and double harvests bless ye happy soil fair fertile fields to warm indulgent heaven has every charm of every season given no killing cold deforms ye beauteous year the springing flowers no coming wind or fear but as ye parent rose decays and teasy infant buds wth brighter colors rise and with fresh sweets ye mother scent supplies near them the violet glows wth odors blessed and blooms in more than tyrian purple dress the rich john quills their golden gleam display and shine and glories emulating day these cheerful groves their living leaves retain the streams still murmur and defy by rain and growing green adorns ye fruitful plain the warbling kind uninterrupted sing warm wth enjoyment of perpetual spring here from my window i at once survey the crowded city and resounding sea in distant views see ashen mountains rise and lose their snowy summits in ye skies above those mountains high olympus towers the parliamental seat of heavenly powers new to ye sight my ravished eyes admire each gilded crescent and each antique spire the fair sarai where sunk in idle ease the lazy monarch melts his thoughtless days the marble mosques beneath whose ample domes fear swore like sultans sleep in peaceful tombs those lofty structures once the christian boast their names their honors, and their beauties lost those altars bright wth gold, wth sculpture cracked by barbarous zeal of savage foes defect convents where emperors professed of old the labored pillars that their triumphs told, vain monuments of men that once were great sunk, undistinguished, by one common fate how art thou fallen imperial city? Lo where are thy hopes of Roman glory now where are thy palaces by prelates raced where priestly pomp in purple lustre blessed so vast, that youthful kings might there reside so splendid, to content a patriarch's pride where Grecian artists all their skill displayed before ye happy sciences decayed, so vast, that youthful kings might there reside so splendid, to content a patriarch's pride, convents where emperors prophesied of old, the labored pillars that their triumphs old, vain monuments of men that once were great, sunk, undistinguished in one common fate one little spot, the small thinner contains, of Greek nobility, the poor remains, where other Hellens show like powerful charms as once engaged the warring world in arms those names that royal ancestry can boast in mean mechanic arts obscurely lost those eyes a second Homer might inspire, fixed at the loom destroy their useless fire grieved at a view which strikes upon my mind the short-lived vanity of humankind and gaudy objects I indulge my sight, and turn where eastern pomp gives gay delight. See, the vast train in various habits dressed by the bright scimitar and sable vest, the vizier proud, distinguished toward the rest six slaves in gay attire his bridle hold, his bridle rough with gems, his stirrups gold, his snowy steed adorned with lavish pride whole troops of soldiers mounted by his side. These toss the plumy crest, Arabian coursers guide with awful duty all decline their eyes, no bellowing shouts of noisy crowds arise, silence and solemn state the march attends till at the dread divan the slow processions ends. Yet not these objects all profusely gay, the gilded navy that adorns the sea, the rising city in confusion fair, magnificently formed irregular where woods and palaces at once surprise gardens, on gardens. Domes on domes arise and endless beauties tire the wandering eyes, so soothes my wishes, or so charms my mind, as this retreat, secure from humankind no knaves successful craft does spleen excite no coxcombs tawdry splendor shocks my sight, no mob alarm awakes my female fears, no unrewarded merit tasks my tears, nor praise my mind, nor envy hurts my ear, even fame itself can hardly reach me here impertinence with all her tattling train fair sounding flatteries delicious pain censorious folly noisy party rage the thousand with which she must engage who dare have virtue in a vicious age 